Hey, good morning, Facebook friends and family. Day 16 of the 22 a day for 22 days challenge to raise awareness for programs and practices that are available to help prevent veteran suicide. Hey, those of you that are still with me, uh, thank you so much for, for bearing. This has got to be tougher to watch me do these every day than it is for me to get out here and do them. So thank you guys. Oh. You know, tons, especially those of you that have been offering encouraging comments and, and sharing the post. Uh, thank you guys so much. Um, been talking about wellness practices. Uh, oh, and before I forget, uh, watch yesterday's video and, and realize I'd left it out. Uh, because suicide uh, happens to all of us, all walks of life, um, I'm putting the national 1 800 suicide helpline uh, at the top of this post. I'm going to post some links to some programs that I think can help below this post. So make sure you check those out. If you uh, uh, don't do anything else, share those so that people can become aware that there are things out there that can help get out of the darkness that you may be facing. Um, continuing with wellness practices, Guys, one of the best things that ever happened to me is my dog, Harley. He is just such an amazing companion. Uh, I think I mentioned before, if you followed my, my weight loss odyssey, uh, the time spent with Harley is what helped me break out of that and get through it. And the cool thing with dogs is that they love you unconditionally, and especially if it's a rescue, that it's almost like almost like veteran society has quite often given up on these, especially pit bull breeds. Uh, people are afraid of them. They don't understand them. They think that they're dangerous regardless of the circumstances, when in reality, just like that military buddy, they make the best friends and companions that anyone could ask for. Uh, the cool thing with working with dogs is that one of the things that can help you get through depression is setting attainable goals and working through them. And when you get a dog and you start working on training it, those goals are very scalable. Everything from just teaching it to walk well on a leash, which is a pretty easy goal, but feels really satisfying when it happens, up to teaching it more advanced tricks, you know, doing high fives, uh, down, roll over, uh, heel. So there's a lot of really cool things that you can do and you can personalize it, take it as far uh, as you want to go with it. So uh, I highly recommend to anyone that's looking for something to help them get out of a dark place or out of the dumps look at getting a dog and if you don't have room in your life if it's you know search uh, circumstances like the, your apartment maybe some family stuff going on that you can't have a dog go down to a local rescue and uh, or a shelter and volunteer to walk some strays that's how I got started and uh, my dog Harley he was considered unadoptable he was dog aggressive uh, growled to just about everybody that walked up to him you guys now without fail every time I take them for a walk and I come across someone else that has a dog that is very ill behaved I am just blown away by how complimentary they are of how Harley is acting if it's a dog that's that uh, seems approachable then I let Harley do a meet and greet but if it's a dog I can tell that they're out of control and the owner doesn't have a, a good grasp on dog handling then I'll put Harley in a sit stay and have him focus on me I'll, I'll touch my nose and say look at me and uh, he will sit there like a statue until that dog is gone and those guys are just blown away especially when I tell them that he is dog aggressive unadoptable and he's been with me for almost four years now so love them to death you can probably tell so in keeping with that uh, I'm going to tag a friend today that has uh, uh, I met through the big red barn she had gone through a lot of stuff that it would have been tough to come back from and it's a lot of the same stuff that you see over and over when you're talking the 22 a day but she's really strong she worked through it and I think her dog really helped her get through that so Ashley Ross I'm going to challenge you to the 22 a day for 22 days to help raise awareness of programs and practices to help prevent veteran suicide I, I invite you to tell your story and 
you know, it's not a not a push up challenge. If there's other things that you would rather do, do that. If you want to talk for 22 days about a different wellness practice every day, something you do from training your dog to doing yoga to just taking a walk in the park, then do that. Get on there. Just help people understand that there are ways to beat this um, 22 a day that we're facing. So here it goes. My 22 for today. Alright guys, that's a wrap. Join me tomorrow. See who I call out next.